Oops, I did. pretty. You see the green grass and everything. Got the wrong foot. <laughs> Even the jojoba looks really good. On this hike. Oh boy, okay then. <laughs> I think we're here. There's a pipe. This is very lush, yes? Yeah. See, if you knew we had water here, you could back back to here. Yeah, that's true. You know? And you could, you could well, you could do it either come up this way with the backpack, because then you'll, you'll, you'll be loaded. And then if you stay here overnight, then you'll be slightly light, lighter for going back up that, right? <laughs> See, and I think the actual spring from what they said is up the hill a ways, but I don't know where exactly. But if you consider everything else is really dry, you do have filterable water here, not a lot. But there might be more some further. Where is Carl when we need him? Carl, I know. get hurt. off that mountain. Come here and find that spring for us. Is that all roots? I think so. Isn't that pretty cool, though? Yeah. Yeah, this is really kind of neat down here. Yeah, so all you do I think is follow the pipe to the origin of the spring, I think is what I read. Yeah, that's definitely good water down here. Considering everything else has been so dry. All right. Okay, this is where this will, we'll have to get my GPS out. I'm looking for the can. Oh boy. That is a little chunky. Well, actually, it's a lot of chunky. My goodness. as we think, but he certainly stands out. 
And I think our sun is finally out. Hopefully to stay. Yeah, it was, uh, see, that was a wood fence and they must have turned it into a wire fence. Because of this. And they apparently just leave it open. I don't know how long it's been like that. Yeah, it certainly did. It's been a while, yeah, if you think about it. So how fast does a prickly pear grow, right? <laughs> right. That's the question. Here's a sign. Oh. Please keep gate closed. keep gate closed. That's exactly what it says. You remember how I said we didn't see any cow dung? <laughs> right next to it now. And on film, and look, there's a whole bunch more over here. Didn't close the gate. But it looks pretty. Well, I don't know if it looks very old, but isn't that interesting? Kind of a cool view to come out to, isn't it? Yeah, it's cool. Sugarloaf Mountain there. Well, it looks like a loaf, or it looks like a cone, oh, so that's okay. Sugarloaf. And then Elephant Mountain straight dead ahead, tall one. Okay. Fortress in front, the rock face. Oh, okay. It's kind of hard to see the rock face in the light, the light. Yeah, now I can see. Yeah, and you climb to the top of that rock face. Oh, you do? Uh-huh, and that's where the ruins are. Not really anything incredible, but they're, I mean, they're, they're, they are a nice set of walls, and it's more like a, a set of defensive walls, and there probably were some, you know, rooms and such out there. Up, oh, our cloud broke up. It's still there, but it's not as cool as it was before. Of course, I would turn my camera on just in time to hit that big step, right? <laughs> There's a couple tricky areas here <laughs> where I'm, but well, where's the trail? Splits here. Well, might end up in the same place. This is kind of a cool little ravine, though. Yeah, I think it's going to end up in the same place. But see, this rock looks slippery. It's not it's as sticky as it can be. Yep. So we're on top of the hill. It looks like a cross. Huh? It does, doesn't it? That's very cool. 